tutorial for Noco HQ. And today's tutorial, I'm going to show you two different ways on how to customize the right click menu in your bubble application. So what do I mean by that? So we have an empty page. Here. Let's just add, uh, add a text here. Let's preview this. And then if we take a look at that page, obviously we have the text here and nothing else. Now if we use the right clicks. We have the standard browser um, actions, which is reload, save as, um, and all the things according to what Chrome extensions you have installed. But this is the standard um, right click menu that you know. You can right click a text and it will be like copy and things like that. However, it is possible to completely override this menu. So basically build your own menu that is opened when a user right clicks um, or secondary clicks on somewhere onto your bubble application. And the great thing is you can style and configure this menu, but then you can also uh, trigger actions according to when a button is pressed within this menu. When is this useful? If, you, if you're building a web application which has real functionality, like such as an editor maybe or something like this, uh, you probably want to override this menu and build your own menu with certain actions. For example, when something is right click, you want to go to another page or you want to um, change something, uh, create a new thing and so on and so forth. And so let's go back to our bubble editor. Um, and there's two plugins that we um, publish in the bubble plugin store, which allow you to build a custom right click menu. And we're going to take a look at both plugins. So I'm going to go to add plugins and the two plugins uh, that we publish is first of all, right click menu, you can see by anti-code and the radial right click menu. Um, in terms of functionality, they're quite similar, um, but they're uh, quite different in terms of the styling and the design. We're just going to install both of them and show you how to set up both of them. They're quite similar and um, exactly and, and just jump right into building this. You can see already these two plugins, they have elements, different elements, different elements according to how many buttons you want to have and then different uh, events and the same thing here. Okay, so let's start off with the right click menu. So remember, we had the standard Chrome um, right click menu here by the browser, and we now want to override it. And we simply do this by let's actually first style this page here. Um, I don't know, this is a demo page as an example, okay, like this. And then we have an image here, just just for a placeholder. So it's not completely empty. All right. And um, now we're gonna actually search for the element and you can see already we have the radial menu element and the right click menu. And we're gonna start with the right click menu. We have option for two buttons, three buttons, four buttons and five buttons. Obviously this will um, uh, decide how many different buttons you will have here um, according also to the, f the functionality needs you have if you want five different actions or just two or three, whatever. We're just, I'm just gonna go with three here. You wanna select that element and just drag that somewhere onto the page. This is a super small element and it's not visible itself, but you have to drag it onto the page and you can place it actually anywhere you like. It just has to be visible on page load. So make sure this is checked here, okay? All right, so, and you can see already, okay, um, we have button one text, button one icon, button two text, button, button three icon, and so on and so forth. And if we take a look at documentation, you can see, okay, the icon has this weird structure here, this text structure, which in this case is FAS, FA home. Okay. So what is that? This is the code from the font awesome icon library. Okay. Which bubble also uses for these icons here. So if you take a look at all these icons, let's just choose something here, rocket, you can see, okay the FA rocket that has the same structure as the um, buttons actually, okay? But before I configure anything, we have some demo um, uh, information here inside already. So let's just preview that quickly, okay? And take a look if our custom right click menu works. So I'm gonna right click anywhere on the page now. Awesome, you can see our menu is overridden. The standard Chrome browser menu is overridden and we have our three Menu items here, home, links, and profile. It looks much nicer. The UI is much more, uh, much cleaner. And we decided what uh, should be displayed here, basically. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead. And also now let's uh, just show, just to show you how you can figure this. So for example, button one text right now says home. We want to change that to, I don't know, um, show alert, for example. Okay. And the icon, we also want to change that. So let's actually change that to the rocket. So I'm just going to take a look at this here. Or you can also just visit fontawesome.com to get the icon code. So let me just go back here. Uh, and I'm going to change that to FA rocket. Okay, so let's preview this now. See how that looks now. 
and you can see it works perfectly fine. We have our icon, our rocket icon immediately displayed here and we change the text to show alert. And as mentioned already, you can choose all font awesome icons um, either here via just looking at them in bubble or just visiting fontawesome.com. There's much more on their website. Um, let's also maybe change the second icon. Let's use a plus here like this, okay? So I'm just gonna go in here again and let's say the second button is called create and then it's FA plus, okay? All right, let's just quickly preview that just to see if it works. Um, and yeah, it works fine, create. Now, obviously, it's one thing to have this nice looking custom um, uh, right click menu, but obviously you want to have some functionality when one of these menus here or menu items is clicked. So how are we going to do this? Well, quite simple. We have button one, we have button two, we have button three. Button one is the show alert button, button two is the create button, button three is the profile button. We now have access to some events in our workflow tab, okay, by just going to workflow, clicking here, and then going to element. And you can see already, we have three events in this case, a right click menu, button one has been pressed, a right click menu button two has been pressed, a right click menu button three has been pressed. So obviously, in this case, right click menu button one has been pressed. So this event is triggered when our first button, in this case, show alert is clicked. And then we can have any subsequent workflow here. So for example, we can show an alert. So let's actually just drag an alert here um, to this page, okay? This is an alert, okay? Let's just position it at the top, maybe like this. All right. And now we can say, all right, so when this thing is, uh, with this button is pressed, we want to show our alert and we should be good to go. So let's preview this just to see if it works. Okay. I'm not going to click on show alert and you can see our alert is displayed. I'm not going to click on the second button and nothing should happen. And yes, nothing happens. So it uh, automatically maps and then identifies which button is pressed. And then you can um, basically build any kind of functionality you want according to um, according to this. So what you could also do, for example, you could combine this with a, another plugin, which is, for example, um, select a text um, or text select, let's search for that. Um, text selection by Airdiff, uh, it's a good plugin as well, uh, available for free. And I'm just gonna drag that selector um, element here on the page, okay? Um, so what I want to do, for example, also, I want to allow a user to, let's say you're building this kind of functionality, you highlight some text and then right click. Um, and I don't know, then maybe have a pop up. Let's just create a pop up. Um, type of content text. Uh, and let's just as an example, you have saved the text. Okay, you're going to see in a second why I'm doing this like this, all right. And now we can do, for example, we could say, all right, so when right click button two has been pressed, we wanna do a few things. First of all, we could do something like create a new thing and then create uh, save the highlighted text that is currently had by a user. Uh, in this case, I'm just gonna show the pop-up here, okay, show pop-up text and display some data in this text, in this pop-up. We wanna display our selector a selected text, okay. So let's preview this now. Um, I'm going to just highlight demo here, okay, right click and create, and then we have automatically the data which is transferred from our selected or highlighted text into the pop-up via this context menu. If I, I'm going to just highlight this here maybe without a T uh, and, and, and click show, uh, not show alert, create, we have, you have selected this text, his is a demo page. Okay, so just to show you what is possible, all kinds of functionality you can combine with other plugins. You can allow manipulations on the page and then trigger certain actions. Um, as mentioned in this case, you could do even more things. You could show an alert, you can create a new data type and save things to, something to a database and so on and so forth. And that's basically it. Regarding this functionality, obviously, if you use a right click menu with five buttons, you have access to five different events according to different buttons. But I, I, I guess that makes sense. Just to quickly show you the other plugin, which basically works in the same way, I'm just gonna delete our right click um, menu but, uh, element, okay? And now we're gonna use the radial menu uh, element. Again, same functionality, same styles. We have different number of buttons. I'm gonna go with four buttons this time, drag it onto the page, 
And here we basically have um, a bit of a different structure. For the button, this is the text that should be displayed within the button. So what we like to do here as default are emojis, but you could also use text if you want to do that. Okay, but let's just stay with an emoji. I think that's quite nice. Then you want to define the text color, the actual font size of the button. So let's make that a bit bigger maybe. And then you can even define how big the whole circle of the radio menu should be because the menu in this case will be a circle. And you can also define the background color of the radio menu. So let's maybe make it, um, I don't know, blue like this, and then let's make the text color like this. Okay, so let's now just quickly preview this to see how that looks now. And right click and you can see it looks quite different. Um, it, co it depends on what your, your application is styled like or what fits to your UI. But in, in terms of functionality, it's kind of the same. We right click, we get this bigger radial menu. This is quite big right now. So maybe let's actually decrease the width a bit. Let's make it 20 in the inner and 50 in the outer circle. Um, let's also change the button um, here to, I don't know, alert again, okay? And let's make the font a bit bigger. So you can play around and style it basically according um, to your requirements. You can see it's much smaller circle now, but now the font size is a bit too big. So you have to play around until you find something that is suitable. So let's actually just change that back to an emoji again, um, like this maybe, okay? Let's take a look at that now. And now it looks quite nice um, and we can click the different buttons here. So let's go in here, for example, and now trigger an event. Let's say when radio menu button three has been pressed. Okay, we want to show an alert. Uh, and then let's just preview the page again. Take a look at if this works. I think this is number three, right? No, this one. Yes, this is number three. And then this is an alert. So you can see if we press the right menu item, the alert is shown. If we press something else, nothing happens. And that's basically it. Um, two different styles of custom right-click menus might be quite helpful if you're building a web application. You want to override the custom right-click menu and add some of your own functionality to it and then um, customize the UI according to your needs. So thank you for watching. Uh, both plugins are in the Bubble Plugin Store published under our name Anticode. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us via email or just comment down below. Bye.